Hello again everybody. Um, as you can see uh, as we go further and further through spring towards summer I'm suitably attired, woolly hat on, a couple of layers to keep warm etc as usual. Um, this is uh, a little bit of a different sort of rant and uh, I'm on my coffee break now. I've just been out on, for those who've been following it, the BSA behind me seems to be fixed and uh, I had to do a little bit of a mercy run on that this morning and an errand and thank God it kept going in both directions so that's good news. But um, what happened, what this is about is uh, yesterday evening as I sometimes do, I walked the uh, mile and a half or more to the next village where there's actually still a pub open occasionally. Anyone remember those pubs? Yeah, it hasn't actually been turned into a house yet, as most village shops and schools and pubs seem to sort of end up becoming around here these days. It's nice to actually get out and have a pint now and again. But while I was there, they had the television on and um, I saw on the news that uh, our Prime Minister, Mr Sunak, wants to tell us, or banners from smoking. Now, um, I used to smoke quite a lot in my uh, younger years. I actually gave up 10 years ago. I say gave up, bear with me on this. I do still occasionally have a cigarette. I perhaps smoked between 20 and 50 a year. Uh, but if I mention it to doctors, dentists or whatever, you know, do you smoke? And I tell them, and non-smoker. So occasionally, just occasionally, I like to have a cigarette. And um, on average, perhaps uh, one every couple of weeks or something like that, maybe a little bit more here and there on a night out, that's about it. Anyway, judge me and uh, call me a smoker if you want or whatever. But the fact that uh, Mr. Sunak would like to ban us from smoking, that gets my goat up. And it got my goat up so much that for the first time in five years, on my way back on the BSA, I stopped at the filling station to top it up with fuel, and I bought these. And I bought these on the strength of Mr. Sunak wanting to stop me being able to buy them. I want to decide whether I want a cigarette or not. I don't think it's up to anybody else. It was bad enough when they banned smoking in pubs. That just about killed half the pubs around here just about overnight actually. Why wasn't that left up to the individuals that owned the pubs? Give them the freedom of choice to ban smoking or not. No one's forcing people who don't smoke into a smoky area. But anyway, that's by the by. What this is about is banning stuff. Now, I've noticed since my early adult years Things that lots of people might enjoy seem to get tightened up on and uh, more controlled. That when I was sort of 18 years old, 19 years old or something, right or wrong, I would jump on a bike like this, go to the pub, maybe have three pints or something. Sometimes there'd be a pub open on the way home from work and we'd nip in and have a couple of pints on the way home. I'm not on about getting plastered, but to be honest, if I had one pint now and got on a motorbike or into a car to drive home, I'd be nervous and twitching, wondering in case I might get stopped to be over the limit. And out of interest, I've had quite a number of road accidents. Uh, some have been my fault, most of them haven't. Every single one of them, I've been sober when they've happened. Not a drop inside me. Every road accident I've been involved in. So uh, I've ridden motorbikes less so driven cars and things with beer inside me over the years and perhaps I was just lucky and got away with it uh, perhaps I was a naughty boy and shouldn't have done it anyway but um, all that sort of stuff and the smoking and the smoking in the pub and whatever didn't bother me and when I gave up smoking it didn't bother me that people smoked I was quite happy to even let people into the house and if they wanted to smoke you know, have a fag I don't mind but it's all about control. Rishi Sunak doesn't give a damn whether I live or die, but Rishi Sunak would probably like the money out of the tax that he gets on these. Most, this, the cost of this was horrendous this morning. I think the last packet of this stuff I bought was about five quid. 
I bought this, I bought a lighter, some papers and some filters. It cost me nearly 30 quid for that lot, but I bought it on principle, Mr Sunak, because you're trying to stop me being able to do this. Now, I'm not interested in living to be 100 years old, a ripe old age, and having lived a clinically clean, such a clean, sterile life that it's bored me to bloody death and I just don't want to live. That's no good. I'd rather live to 70 and have a fun, enjoyed myself, perhaps gone out with friends to a pub, smoked outside it, not in of course, but also we're getting all this 20 mile an hour guff. We're getting roads that used to be 60 miles an hour that are down to 50 or 40. We're all crawling along in larger and larger amounts of nose to tail traffic. Oh, we got a train coming. In fact, there's another one. The last train back from Flandovery that comes back here at about quarter to 11 at night. Guess what, folks? They're stopping that. They're not enough uh, custom or passengers on them. Do you know why? Four of us went to Flandovery last week, got on the train to come home, asked the guard how much it would be. Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> so there's four people that were on the train that weren't on the train in the count of the passengers, which is so low that they're stopping the service. It makes you want to cry, actually, doesn't it? Anyway, um, got me a cup of coffee here. There's the train going. I don't think you saw it, but you can hear it. How long that'll carry on for before that becomes a cycle track, God only knows. What I need to do now, and this is dedicated to Mr Sunak. I wouldn't normally be doing this today, right now. Like I say, I do enjoy the occasional one. Sometimes when I'm out on what we call Muddy Friday on the motorbikes with my friends and just occasionally at the pub if a friend or two are up there that happen to smoke and I get offered one. But this one, I've gone out of my way to have this one to dedicate it to you, Mr Sunak. And just think, if anybody thinks, what are the government going to do? all the money they get for this in taxes and everything, well, I'll tell you what they'll do if they ban smoking. They'll raise the taxes on other things. Don't think that you'll be saving money or that they'll be missing out because they'll just make other things more expensive. So think on, everybody. Wake up, and especially you, Mr Sunak. Thank you.